This is an important aspect for all indoor cannabis growers in that is looking at the proper placement of sensors in the cannabis grow area. So follow along in this video and we'll go over to make sure you're properly placing your sensors for accurate readings. All right, let's make sure you're properly placing your sensors in your grow facility. So first off, it's important to realize that a sensor is only as good as its placement. Keep in mind what conditions you're monitoring and how the placement of the sensor will impact those readings. While there are many conditions that should be monitored, uh, temperature will be used as the example provided here. We want to make sure we're right on point uh, because if we're off by a little bit. That placement's off a little bit. It's really going to throw uh, things off in the facility in general. So where do you place your temperature sensor? Where would be the kind of the area that you'd place it in your grow facility? Well, take a grow room or grow tent as an example. Uh, near the top is often gonna be higher than average temperature will be a given since heat is going to naturally wanna rise through your grow facility. In the middle or at plant height gives a general estimate of the area's temperature. If you put it near the floor, it'll be a lower than average temperature given that colder air tends to sink as well as CO2. So again, that mindful of that area where you're placing that sensor. So the obvious choice as a grower would say would be, I wanna have my sensor at you know plant height. Uh, while this is where most growers put the monitor system, this may not be the best location. Reason being, you want to make sure you're taking other factors into consideration. Where is the light placement? How's the air circulation patterns in your grow tent or grow room? Are there doorway locations? Is that impacting things? Are there viewing areas? Are there vents? How is that going to impact different um, factors when you're looking specifically here at temperature? So you mentioned that light placement. So you want to ensure that there's not a light directly on the temperature sensor as this can cause an inaccurate reading. You want to have some idea of where the plant is, but you want to be mindful of where the intensity of the light is, where that heat source from that light's going and being projected. We don't want to necessarily put that temperature sensor near that because we're going to get a false reading or a not accurate reading for the grow area that the plant is being exposed to. Those air circulation patterns that I mentioned, is the plant height getting more or is plant height getting less air circulation from a fan? This will also impact the temperature. So you want to have an idea of, you know, what is the general airflow pattern in your grow facility? Is that plant height really the best height there uh, for temperature readings in that grow facility? And doorway locations. And doorway locations could be physical doors. They could also be, as we see here, they could also be doorways as far as plant access points. So putting the sensor near the entranceway is common practice to make reading easier, but you may want to consider if this is actually representative of the field location. So in their growing location, we want to put near the doors. So we just kind of like peek in and see what the temperature is. But again, is that the best location? So what is the best location then? Well, the best location really comes down to uh, is an area that's representative of the growing space. So typically, yes, that's around plant height. Uh, that should be the general kind of uh, consensus of that's where the general conditions are located. But look very hard at your system. Look very hard at your environment. Is that really representative of what's going on overall? You know, we want to make sure we're away from any fans and not too close to lights. Where are you going to place that exactly? Because where you place that sensor, that's what your readings are going to be based off of. So if you place the center in a poor location, uh, if that's not in the right or proper representative location in your grow space, the, all the numbers you read are going to be skewed in one direction or another, causing you potentially to make false uh, data collection and potentially not maximize the growing facility or growing environment and adjustments for your plants.